Hi, welcome back to Rimworld Tribal to Noble. So I think we're just going to continue as we were, replacing these interior walls. Um, and we're going to work on an extra royal bedroom. So let's get some um, some stone blocks cut. Gonna need a bunch of granite. Uh, how much do we actually have in storage? None by the looks of things, so... Where is there some granite? I hope we've not run out already. Slate, there's a little bit over here. I think that's granite, yeah. We are getting kind of low though. Having said that, we are almost done. What are you up to? You're hauling sandstone. Fair enough. Okay, let's speed up. And I think we've dealt with these things. We do have a new quest, Countess in Danger. I mean, this this is the reason why I've started work on another royal on the royal bedroom. We can't take this at the moment because we don't have a spare royal bedroom that would satisfy her needs. But we do need to get one sorted out. We could convert this one. That wouldn't be a problem. Um, we would need royal bed, drapes. We do actually have a royal bed as well. We'll get this room sorted out and then we'll um, relocate the barn. And then we can deal with it all at the same time. Get it so we have a, a barracks and a spare royal bedroom. I'm also kind of tempted to move Komodo out of here and into the royal, one of the royal bedrooms. Yeah, we could potentially do that. We could break this into two. Maybe. I'll have a think about that. Now then, let's just check our other resources. So we are okay for food. We're okay for wood. We're mostly okay for steel. Our traps are all up. How is our research going? Pretty good. This is a really long research and even when it's done we've got more long research to go. Um, I really would like to get Barnet replacements next I think. I think that's kind of important. And then we need to start dealing with um, things like better armour. We still have lots of corpses lying around because our corpse room is full. So Blue, while you're up and about, can you grab the Molotovs? And then come with me. Can you go and get your... What weapon did you have? I guess it was this charge rifle. Yep. Let's just... Uh, disallow that while things are on fire. Okay, let's have a quick look around. See if we're missing anything important. It has been a while since I played. Things look okay, I think. So that's dealt with. Flash Storm is gone. We've got Inspired Trade on Kesa. And we've got an Inspired Recruitment on Komodo. And I also want to uh, plant some growing zones. Let's make this, um, this is going to be purely decorative. So we'll go uh, 
roses. There you go, that's the rose garden. And we'll have um, daylilies there, why not? I'm still considering removing this um, growing zone here. We don't want animals walking in, setting off all our traps particularly. We may just have to keep an eye on it, but it is a risky thing. Okay, so how are we doing for stone blocks? We've got quite a lot of granite now, and it's four in the afternoon. It's getting a little bit late, but let's um, let's deconstruct some of this. So we need to remove this wall light while we do it. And uh, we'll deconstruct this. Okay, Blue, can you hold this wood? late now everybody's going to be going to bed so we should probably wait a little we can now unlock this door that should clear those corpses up creativity on blue if I remember rightly blue was the one who constructed our legendary um, bed or masterwork bed I think it was yeah I mean she's a really good constructor okay we're gonna get you to make another bed Psychic drone, that's not too bad. We could, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're running out of chairs in the throne room, but we could, uh, we could do a speech. We haven't done one of those for a while, we do have it available. Okay, we'll consider doing that shortly, but let's, uh, All of this interior wall dealt with. Okay, and I'm going to set a bed to be made. And Blue is going to work on that. Legendary. Nice. Okay, so good, excellent, good. Legendary. Yeah, she did. That was the bed she made for herself. I'm not sure if we ever checked out the art on that. This furniture is engraved with an image of Joshua Gizmo Nelson inscribing his name on a harpsichord while smiling proudly. Gizmo lifts the harpsichord seemingly without effort. The work represents devastation. Unusually for this kind of work, the lower part of the image is dominated by three mantises. This depiction relates to Gizmo completing work on Harpsichord on 13th of December. Okay. And this one. An engraving on this furniture is shaped like a revolver. The scene takes place on the outskirts of a village. Well, it's a little less personal, but it's still 
a legendary bed and I am not complaining. Let's get that dealt with. And this bed can go... We'll give it to Geyser and Black. And it doesn't have a beauty rating, so it won't affect Geyser's um, asceticism. Hopefully. Right, Geyser and Black, so let's uninstall that. You're right, that's nothing to write home about. Okay, and let's set that to geyser in black. Nice, we're starting to get some good furniture. They'll sleep less and therefore get more work done. And they'll be more comfortable all day. Okay, so that's done. Uh, that is done. Psychic drone's still active. Meteorite. Eh. Minor break risk. Gizmo. What's up with Gizmo? Psychic drone. Chemical starvation. Well, we can help you with that. So, where is our Psychite T? Uh, well, go and have a smoke leaf joint. And then go and have some Ambrosia. I should sort you out for a bit. Everyone else seems okay. Let's check our beauty rating around here. Yeah, this is quite a nice area now. Once that's all planted up, that'll improve. Alpaca. Which um, is going to go for Gizmo, presumably. Yeah, so you run up here. You get ready to shoot. Okay. Carry on, guys. And we have a quest available, the Supreme Donkeys. Wow, this has changed. Nectaros Diopera, Stalark of the Refugee Imperium, recently lost a scouting party to a pack of 24 man-hunting donkeys. He wants to draw the beasts to, towards you to be killed to uphold his honour. The donkeys will arrive at Black Lagoon 23 hours after you accept. Okay, and we have a choice of reward. Interesting. I've not seen this before. So a stone skin gland. Shield belt gold. Yeah. Stone skin glands are good. They do make you tougher and harder to kill. They make you ugly. So you also need aesthetic shapening in order to counteract the debuff from that. So we won't be going for that yet because we have no way of making the um, the aesthetic shape and an LTEC shirt shirt embedded with psychic focusing materials these enhance psychic sensitivity and help dissipate neural heat 
Okay, Eltex robe. These Eltex things, I've not heard of those either. I think there's a patch that's been released that I've not read. And Uranium. That's interesting. Mega Screen TV. Masterwork LMG. And Silver. Well. 24 man hunting donkeys. Twenty four man hunting donkeys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of donkeys. I mean, we could hole up. They'd get in, they'd destroy our turrets. Uh, Not a lot we could do about that. I mean, we could, we could just take them on. Does what's Komodo's um, what skills does she currently have? Stun, Noel Heat Dump, Chaos Skip. Well, wow, they've changed that from Entropy as well. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Chaos Skip, Skip. And invisibility, yeah, they're not going to be massive. Well, chaos skip, maybe. Hmm, I'm just wondering whether we could actually handle that without taking damage. We don't need the meat. As far as I understand now, man hunting animals have a chance of rotting immediately upon death. That's the one change I do know has happened. Um, so basically it comes down to whether we want those rewards or not. remember ordering a longsword. Unfinished Loranium longsword. I'm guessing that's not been finished because we're not refueling the um, the bench. Okay, what's the time? 12 o'clock. Okay, let's get the, um, let's get more of this stuff dealt with. Got 252 granite blocks. So let's deconstruct these walls. And then I think we're done with all our interior walls and we can start work on the other rooms. So put our lights back on the walls. There's another one somewhere. Where are you? So we're at much less fire risk now, although we do still have wooden floors here and there, but that's okay. We can live with that. This room here, let's see, what's the what's the roof situation? Yeah, so let's um let's mine this little corner out.
Okay, we have the longsword. Now that was for Kesa, who's currently rocking a thrombo horn. Which isn't a bad weapon by any means. However, we could sell it. Um, would kind of like to go out on a trading mission. It is spring now, so travel times will be improving. We could send Komodo and someone else out to do some trading. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. We sent Komodo and... Fold one just got eaten by a cougar. Okay. And they're having a fight. Because... Gizmo made a contemptuous remark about Geyser's uncle's judgement. It's usually Gizmo. How's Osamu doing? Still in a surprisingly good mood. Okay, and Black has got Tattered Apparel. That would be his shield belt. Well, we do have a spare good shield belt, so... Go and wear that. Okay, and we can set the priority down on the fridge, get everything into the main fridge because our food supplies are starting to run low. And we should probably take care of this cougar. So let's say... Komodo and Pixie, you guys come here. And it's fire. Fire. At that. That's what you get for messing with my animals. Now, do we want to send Komodo when she's just about to finally finish her research? Or at least she would be if she wasn't going to sit on the throne. Well, Gizmos took over. Okay, we have fabrication. Excellent. So... What shall we do? I think it's got to be Barnet replacement. Yeah. I want to get a Samu home. And, um... We also need to make some room for a fab bench. So, we might need a little redesign over here. Hmm. About getting advanced components. You know the technology to build a fabrication bench, but it also requires some advanced components to get started. You can collect advanced components several ways. All outlanders settlements sell them. Some visiting traders sell them. Some quests are rewarded with them. Now, I don't know if we have any. We have four. We've got enough to build the bench itself, I think. 
So let's have a look. Production, fabrication bench. We need two. But that would currently only allows us to construct components, I think. Until uh, bionics. And then we should be able to make bionic things as well. Yeah. So I think tomorrow we can send Komodo and a Melly person out on a mission. Okay, we have a raid and we have visitors. Visitors are coming from down there. The raid is landing all over the map. Everybody up. Let's see if we can help our visitors. has died. Okay, I'm happy with that outcome. Let's, um, let's allow everything. There's some shooting I can hear, but I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, it's Enric. Combo. Do you want to do the... Oh, he smashed my door down. Okay, so apart from that door, I don't think anything else was damaged. Looks like they landed in the geothermal. Missed that. Okay. Uh, Komodo, you are asleep, but do we still have that trade on case that we do? Yeah, inspired trade. Go and trade with Vexago. Hi. What have you got? Pebble meds? Alright. A spear? Don't really want that. Hyla? No. Nothing else. You've got a bit of money. Let's see if we can sell you some crap. So, got an equa. We don't want these things at all. But we'll keep our uranium longsword. Got some bows. Don't need any of those. Pilers. That's almost all of your money. Do you want some tribal wear? There you go. Do you own it?
Okay, now let's set up a trade. So, how far can one of these reach? I think we need to refuel this one up to maximum as well. Let me just check. So, this will take a second for the map to generate. Yeah, so our nearest empire is up here. Let's just do a... So from there to there. That's our closest route, 7.4 days. We may be able to get all the way there, maybe not, but that way, on the way back, we can trade at that and potentially here and here. Okay, so we'll get that refueled. Good, and then let's set a load group of two. All pod launches connected, the selected transport pods must be adjacent. What are you complaining about? I wonder if that's anything to do with the fact that the, the transport got destroyed. Well, one of our pods got destroyed a few episodes ago, but the well, the launcher got destroyed, but the pod remained. And I just built a new launcher underneath it. It might be that it was no longer attached. I think it was this one. See if deconstructing that helps. must be adjacent. I don't understand what it's saying. Okay, we'll have to do these one by one. Yeah, because it's allowing them individually, it's just not allowing them together. They need to be side by side. That seems an unnecessary restriction. Huh. Okay, well, let's see what we can do space-wise. So if we stuck Komodo and a Donkey in here, is 60 so yeah you're light anyway do you have anything lighter than a donkey no yeah we really need to be able to launch the two together unless we don't bother taking a donkey I mean we probably don't really need it to be fair because we're planning on bringing back weapons probably So okay, let's say we just took Komodo in this one, and what would we take with us? 2,000 silver. stuff we can sell. I guess psychic helmets have just been renamed to Eltex helmets by the looks of things. We do have that statue we made. That's worth a few hundred.
and take the bird skin caravan mass for a little over this is carry weight so that's fine so light leather we have a silly amount of plain leather thousand plain leather Yayo go juice. We'll take some ambrosia. Not a hundred. Say fifty. They've renamed a lot of these things like Silink Noroformer. Okay, that's probably okay. We'll take um, twelve days of food. We'll take thirty package survival meals. So, yeah, we'll. Um, this is very difficult to sort out when you can't... I think these need to be side by side, don't they? Although I don't understand why, I'm not sure I remember that restriction being there before. Let's build another one. Two people should be able to carry the stuff we're sending. The risk is if I just sent Komodo with those things, she'd get stuck. We could send someone else as well, but I have no way of knowing whether they were both able to carry it because I couldn't see their combined carry ability. Let's see if this makes any difference at all. It allows that, so they have to be side by side. That's very, very strange. Okay, so, anyway. Komodo, and let's say... Not Gizmo, because he's our researcher. Not Blat, because he's our cook. So we'll send Kesa. And can we send a donkey as well? We can. We're not going to have a lot of carry weight. Mass, we've only got. Mm, let's see. So we need uh, 30 package survival meals. We were going to take all the bird skin and a thousand light leather. And in fact, I'm going to send 1500 light leather. Uh, well, for, yeah, we want to keep all that stuff. We were going to take some Ambrosia. We were getting very close to our limit. We need the silver. 2,000. Puts us over. Okay. So let's cut back on the light leather. Okay. We can take 1,200. I think that's fine. Let's go with that. We've got 2,000. Oh, we're going to send the, the sculpture. And we're going to need the bed rolls. Wherever they are. Bedroll, bedroll. Okay, so we'll have to cut down on the leather again.
Okay, I think that will do. These things don't weigh very much, let's send them. Don't need those. Okay, I'm happy with that, I think. I'm going to take a little bit of medication just in case we get attacked or something. Why is the mass not going down? That's extremely weird. Really, does Yayo weigh that much? Okay. Let's do it. Everything loaded. It looks like it. Okay, so donkey, Komodo stuff. Let's launch. We can almost get all the way there. So we'll drop off there. We'll, we'll trade with Kanoski. And I think that's all I've got time for. So um, I'm going to end this here. We'll get the, um, get the trade underway next episode. Hopefully we'll get some decent weapons. I'd really like to get some um, Zeus hammers. Or something. I think that would be well worthwhile but we'll see what they have on offer so if you enjoyed that guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you next time cheers